Right. I think y'all are going to like complex fractions. Complex fractions are simply fractions in fractions. Okay? They're complex. So we have to remember a couple of things. And if we think back, if you remember every time I, I teach these lessons in this chapter, I try to go back and relate it to basics that you already know. For example, if I have a fraction in a fraction, I don't like to leave it like that. What do I do? How would I simplify that? Oh, well, three divided by three divided by five. <laughs> How do you do that? Multiply by the reciprocal, right? We don't divide by fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. So 2 thirds times 7 over 5. So we do the top times the flip of the bottom. And that's basically what we're going to be doing, but the difference now is we're going to have rational functions here and rational functions here that we're gonna flip and multiply. And we may even have to do some adding and subtracting to simplify first and then move on to multiplying. Yeah. It won't be bad. You got a factor too? A factor always. <clears throat> All right, so let me show you what one looks like. It's a complex fraction. It's supposed to look complex. Oh. I mean. yes. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to break this down in pieces. Oh I don't what? What, Tanner? Tell us. I think we're about to do these over here yesterday on the bottom. Yes. And then we're gonna yes. And then we flip that and multiply it. So yes. All of it. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're right. This is a combination of everything, all the algebra we've done in chapter five. Okay. All right. So here's what I always do whenever I do these. I take my paper that I'm working on and I divide it into three columns. And I do one column for the top. Because in this case, even though the top's already simplified, um, they won't always be simplified. So I do the top and I do the bottom. And then I do them together. <laughs> Let's work through it. Top. Is there anything I can do with that? No. No, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that as is. Bottom. I've yeah. got. Yeah. Bottom what? 1 over x plus 4 plus 2 over x. So here, what you is. You have to do them together. What is my LCD? Because they're already factored. Every piece is factored. X, X, X and plus X plus four. four. No, X. LCD yeah. is X, <laughs> X plus four. X What's the first one missing? X. <laughs> what is the second one missing? X plus four. That is correct. <laughs> so I end up with... X plus what? You got to multiply this X plus 4 on the 2 yeah, there. Like All right, so I'm going to simplify. Can I go ahead and cross out those X plus 4s? Yeah. No. no. No, why? I got this plus sign right here. Plus, I don't like killing kittens, right? The poster should make one to take a picture of because he thought he's going to fall off the wall before he takes his test. I don't know. No, I'm talking about at the house. I know. I'm picking on you. <laughs> All right. So I need to expand up top a little bit. X times X plus 4. And you could do 3X plus 8. I could do 3X plus 8. Right. Uh, You've got a close relationship. I sure you. do. You can't stop that. You tell me. Yes. All right, so there's no parenthesis there, but I could put a parenthesis oh, over this yeah. whole thing like that. So uh, can you cancel them? No. Nope. Good job. All right. <clears throat> Together. 
Never. All right. Mm -hmm. So you do the top. And it's already done. 5 over x plus 4. I take my final answer from both. And then I take my final answer from the bottom, but I need to flip it, right? Because I'm dividing. So I do times x times x plus 4 over 3x plus 8. So the bottom goes to the Together means... Top times the flip of the bottom. Uh, did you already switch them? Switch what? Yeah, I put this on top and this one on the bottom right here. Does that confuse anybody? Now I can cancel and simplify. How do you do that? How do you do that? I'm multiplying oh, so straight across. You get the X's out of it. Oh, because it's the bottom has more than one? Say that again. The bottom has more than one, that's why you need Yes, yeah. All right, so the X plus four is gone. What else? Oh, it's a combination of everything. It is. That's what... That's it. That's it. Didn't we say that already yeah, earlier? Okay. Five X. Five X. Five X over... Three X. There you go. Final yes. answer. It looks a lot worse than it is, right? Oh, it's still a long run. Like it. <laughs> Can you put it into like a calculator? No. <laughs> no. Like the All right, let's do. <laughs> let's make it a little bit harder. <laughs> You can't see? Oh, yeah, Let's, you, right. Here, I'll flip the other light. Somebody flip that other light off, please, so we can see. Thank Cheetah. you, Cheetah. <laughs> Better? <laughs> it's just if I change it to a little no. bit thinner here, it, it gives me a little more room. I'm so quick about my fingers now. The wind up on my body is not that much. Yeah. I'm real Cheetah. Yes. Thing. I'm just setting up. <clears throat> you took off my <laughs> Did it? I'll give y'all a second to catch up with me and then we'll. Top. You gotta do the thing. I got six over x minus five plus one over x. What is my LCD? X, X minus 5. What is the first fraction missing? X. What is the last fraction X missing? Five. Way to go, Tanner. I love yeah, the, en the enthusiasm. <laughs> the top combined would be 6X plus 1 times X minus 5 all over the LCD. LCD. I'm just going to do X minus 1. That's fine. If you skipped ahead and got 6x plus x minus 5, that is perfectly fine. Don't do that to the bottom, though. Leave the bottom alone. Like terms together, 6x and x gives me 7x. Good job. Does everybody agree that's my simplified top? Mm -hmm. Me too. Yes. Ready to move on to the bottom? We don't always just set everything to zero. We used to do that, don't set equal to zero. Wait a minute, what? We're about to do that tomorrow when we solve, we have to set equal to zero. I will show you. You want me to do that today? No. You want me to go ahead and do it? You can like show us, but not like No, but don't show us. We just do the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> What's the LCD here? Oh, how convenient. That's what I was asking. The first one's missing what? X minus 5. 
Second one's missing what? So I've got 3 times x minus 5. Be careful, because if this, if this had been missing a, a binomial, you'd have to distribute a negative 2 through. So watch the signs carefully. x minus 15? Yeah. Minus 2x. Yes. All right, so I have 3x minus 15 minus 2x over x times x minus 5. Which simplifies to what on the top? X minus 15. That's exactly right. Completely simplified, do we all agree? Yeah. <laughs> top, 7x minus 5 over x times x minus 5. It's 6. Times. times. Flip that bottom Flip over. X, x minus 5 over x minus 5. Ah, I didn't flip it. This job, teacher. Tell you what. Right you I know. I'm sorry. And x, x minus 5 cancels out. Look at that. That's nice. 7x minus 5 over x minus 5. It's just completely done. Judging by everyone's attitude about this, I think y'all have it fairly well. Yeah.